Hey, um, so my name is Joelle. I'm currently 21 years old. I guess this is pretty much the first episode right now, episode number one. And I'm recording this video off of my phone and I edit my videos using iMovie, which I hope still exists in the future, I don't know. I don't really know how to start this video. Well, I'm your mom. I decided to make this video series so that when I have kids, they'll be able to look back on these kinds of videos and see what I was like before I had kids. Um, and I want my kids to see what I was like. And, you know, my family members can be in them too. If they pass away or anything, they're gonna still be alive in these videos. And I'm gonna make these videos until the day that I give birth or the day that I adopt. Because I really wanna do that and I really wanna also have a biological child, which I perfectly can, there's nothing wrong with me, but um, yeah. Um, so anyways, I'm Joelle, I'm your mom, and this is what I was like before I had kids. So right now we're kinda of stuck inside because of the coronavirus. Um, we've been inside the house for about three weeks now. Um, it's kind of been torture, but I've been talking to friends and stuff. Um, I currently have two really good friends that I talk to right now named Andy and Kat. They don't know each other, but they both know me, so that's something that they have in common. And then I also talk to a girl named Maddie, I talk to two girls named Haley, and I talk to Niger, and she and I plan to go to Six Flags, so maybe I might vlog about that if that ever happens, but I don't know, because you really never know. I'm currently not in college right now, but I'm gonna find a way to go back through grants or scholarships or something, because I hear you can get scholarships for anything. I really want to be a teacher, like really, really badly. I would love to go into teaching. My mom did my hair like this. I have braids, as you can see. I have some awesome braids going on. Um, I got this weird growth on my neck going on over here. I don't know what this is. It is the weirdest thing and I want it to go away because it just looks so weird when I turn my head. Um, I have a cartilage piercing. It's actually a double, if you can see that hole right there. But I had to take the earring out because um, it was sinking into my ear, so now it's just the hoop, and I spent a lot of good money on the hoop, but I don't have the other one, so I can't put that one in. So it's just the one, and it looks super weird, but that's just how it is for right now until I can finally reactivate my card, which is actually deactivated right now, and, um, and I can be able to get out the money so that I can pay for a new earring. My parents also lost a book of mine from my room, they might have accidentally thrown it away or something, but I'm really mad about that, and um, I really wanted to read it, finish reading it, and I didn't get the chance to. But I remember where I left off, because I had a bookmark. But um, they lost the book, and I'm gonna have to go to Barnes & Noble and buy a new one after I reactivate my card, which I can easily do. I can literally just call the number right now, because it's on my phone, which I'm recording this off of. Um, yeah, I'm a pretty boring person, I'd say. Uh, I like to read, I like to do puzzles, I like reading the comics and newspapers, um, I like to play the ukulele. I have a little pig right here. It's Pua from the movie Moana, I'm not sure if you've heard of it, but it's this really great Disney movie with a Disney princess who doesn't really find a man to be happy, so I hope that you watch that movie by the time I have you, because, um, you know, it's just a really cool movie. But. If you really want to see a good Disney movie, I highly recommend you watch Frozen. But not Frozen 2, because Frozen 2 sucked. But Frozen was a good movie. That is a movie I recommend you watch. This is my old phone. It's a very, very, very old phone. I'm not even sure if it still works. I don't think it still works. This is an old phone of mine that I have here. Um, I love to write. I love writing more than anything in the whole world. Like, it's like what I want to do for the rest of my life. I'm currently working on this one book. I'm not going to say too much about it because this is going to go on the internet, so I'm not going to say too much, but I think that it might be a plot that I think people are going to really like, and it's going to catch a lot of people's attention, and I think there's a lot of realism in it, and I'm really confident that that book is going to go places, so yeah, I'm confident about that. Um, that's pretty much what I wanted to say. Oh! Okay, there are a few more things I wanted to add. Um, so, I have a therapist, and she's a really good therapist, and I love her so much. She's helped me through so much, and I'm still not op done opening up to her 
about a lot of things, but I want to talk to her about a lot of my problems that I don't want to end up passing on to you guys because I don't want you guys growing up having the kind of parent that you can't trust and you can't rely on and you can't depend on and you can't look to for guidance and comfort, you know? So I am talking to her to help me sort out my problems so that I can be a better parent to you guys because I want to be a good mom, like, really badly. And, um, yeah. Yeah. Her name is Gina. She's a really good therapist. From, like, in comparison to the other ones I've had, she's a pretty good therapist. She's already helped me through so much, and I wasn't really done with her when I left college. So my plan is that I go back to her and see her again, and we, I, she helps me more. Um, my plan is to go back to Raritan Valley, because I'm currently not in college right now. I think I said that already, but my plan is to go back to Raritan Valley and to continue my education there. But my parents want me to go back to this facility called Job Corps, and I don't want to be there because I'd much rather be a teacher. And Job Corps doesn't have anything that can help me be a teacher. My parents think that Job Corps is such a great stepping stone. And I don't think that because I believe that a stepping stone that I need is college. But they don't, they don't think that at all. So that's pretty annoying. But I'll figure it out. My plan is that we're going to have one therapy session, one family therapy session. And maybe after that, then I can consider not really going back to Job Corps. Because the thing is, I don't want to go back. And I'm willing to pay whatever it takes to get a driver's license. Like, I want to be an adult. And right now, my life isn't really going anywhere as of now. So, hopefully, through doing that, I can actually push my life forward. And I can go go do something with my life. So, yeah. I'm not sure if this is going to be edited or not. But for the most part, that's pretty much all they wanted to say. Yeah. I think I pretty much got everything out. 